Hi, I'm Kathy Millen and I come from the sport of powerlifting. What is your sports training history? Uh, I started lifting, well I had, I had a multiple sports history, like uh, mainly racket sports up until I was 13. And then, and then at 14 I found strength training or weight training, came under a powerlifter and then had quite an illustrious career um, resulting in five IPF Open World titles, 25 I think world records and a number of Commonwealth and New Zealand records. Um, and my most proudest thing is the IPF Hall of Fame. And what are your sport training goals at the moment? I've moved away from lifting at the moment. Um, I just feel I need to change the relationship with that and so I have got into more fitness orientated but explosive sort of sports because that's the sort of sports I like, which is boxing. How did you first hear about KSI? I remember seeing an article uh, on TMAG, I think it was oh, the limping the limping one and um, I, it just resonated with me. It was simple, um, it made sense and, and that was my first exposure to Ian's work. Why did you decide to go to the KSI annual camp in Park City? I decided that I wanted to um, become involved in the KSI way and that was the best way to sort of um, immerse yourself in a way. Did you have any fears, concerns or reservations about doing so? Yes. Um, and they were, I really needed to have been more prepared when I went there. Um, but yes, I did have a few fears and concerns, yeah, more from my lack of preparation. What were some of your earlier impressions when you got to the camp? Where the hell is everyone? And I couldn't really understand why there wasn't the numbers, because to me it was like, um, you know, you know, sorry, start again. Oh, okay. can we start that bit again? Okay. Can you ask a question? What were some of your earlier impressions when you got to the camp? I, th I was surprised by the lack of numbers. Um, I thought, where is everyone? You know, this guy is exceptional. So it, it, to me, it, you know, it's like, well, there should be more here, you know, but I sort of over time understood why there wasn't, you know, but um, it was, the amount of content in it was impressive, you know, in all the areas of physical preparation. Yeah. What did your day look like at the camp? Uh, typically it started out with, um, Volleyball was um, volleyball in the morning, and we sort of had teams, so we sort of did a bit of like team bonding and and that sort of thing. And then we would have breakfast, and then go into like um, into the classroom and have the opportunity to ask in any questions, which I thought was an actually wonderful opportunity because it didn't matter what background you came came from and whatever questions you had, you could um, you you know you could ask them. And then you go into maybe go out into the field, into the gym, and it sort of went throughout there, and then having breaks throughout the day, but. You know, there was the practical as well as the sort of, I suppose, theory side of it as well. What were some of your favourite things about the camp? Uh, it was, I loved the early morning, the, the start in the morning, the, the, the game of volleyball with amongst teams, and then, I, and then when we started, I liked the bit where we could ask you any questions. What were some of the things you got to do that you weren't expecting to do? Uh, it was the hands-on coaching. Um, in different, different areas of physical preparation. I wasn't actually quite prepared for that, I think, in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, that, it was that sort of thing. Are you glad you went to the camp? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was, um, I've been twice and, you know, it certainly opened my eyes to the, you know, infinite possibilities in physical preparation. So how has it changed your life? Um, it's made, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question. Um, it's changed from a training perspective. It um, it's shown me that you don't have to keep going into injury. You know, so it's helped me sort of be more aware of um, what I'm doing when when I'm writing programs or with my own training. Um, you know, it, it, I think for me that was that was sort of the biggest thing. Would you recommend the camp to anyone else? Absolutely, and I have done. I've, well, I've definitely recommended um, NZ Educational System, which is part of the camp. Yeah. What advice or tips would you give to someone considering attending the KSI annual training camp? My biggest advice would be be prepared. Um, you know, if you just go in, like I came in just really with a strength training background, and I really I focused on the strength training side of it, so I always felt like a duck out of water when I was thrown into situations to coach people in other areas. So I would recommend that you read a lot of Ian's work. You know, it's... Um, reasonable enough to purchase and it's worth actually being prepared when you go there. Otherwise you just feel uncomfortable. Do you have any final messages for Ian or any of the coaches? Um, 
Well, you know, I've sort of not, I haven't been doing the, the I'm sort of moved away into other areas in my life. And I suppose I think what what I would suggest is or recommend is just keeping an openness um, with everyone that comes through there, you know, and, um, you know, stay on track, keep focused and do what you need to do to get there.